Hello everyone, welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner again and today we are going to discuss about technical support fundamentals which is a course of Google IT support professional course and this course is sponsored by Coursera. So today we are going to discuss about the week 3. So basically we, in week 3 we will talk about operating system and uh, our first quiz about operating system is what is an operating system. So we are going to see the feedback. First question of what are the two main parts that make up an operating system and these are kernel and user space. Uh, what are the main components of file management? Uh, these are file data, metadata, and file system. Okay, which of these are true? A uh, program is an application that we can run, and a process is a program that is executed. And the second thing, you can have many processes running on one program or for one program. Okay, this two will be a correct answer. Number four, what are the characteristics of virtual memory? Allows our computer to have more memory than it physically has. And Combination of RAM and hard drive space, and then storage pages, it stores pages that are currently not in use by the physical memory. What is, a, which of this is a GUI, or graphical user interface? This is not a GUI, but this is a GUI, and yeah, this is also a GUI. Okay, so this is not a GUI. Okay, so this too, colorful is GUI. Okay, so which of these are considered as I.O. input output devices? So hard disk drive, monitors, webcams, speakers, all of them. Okay, so what is the last step of booting? Uh, booting a computer. So what do you think? What it would be? This would be execute the bootloader. So I made a mistake. I think you guys shouldn't made this mistake. Okay. So we are going to our next topic with its quiz. So installing and operating system. Okay. So what are the questions? Let's start. The first question: If you have 32-bit computer architecture, it's recommended to use 64-bit operating system. False. False. Totally false. Okay. So second question: If you want to boot into a USB drive. How do you change your boot settings? Go to BIOS settings and then change boot settings. Number three, what is the file manager in Mac OS called? It is called Finder. What's common can you use to create a file using bash? Dash. Okay. So a dash is an em emulation, emulation of physical machine. Virtual machine is an emulation of physical machine. Okay, so next, uh, these five are the questions. So we are going to our next topic. So I think we have already done most of our uh, topics. So now what we should do, we need to go to Quick Lab for some practical knowledge about. So first of all, you have to answer something about the Quick Lab. What do you know about Quick Lab? Quick Lab is a virtual lab which is offered by Google for your assignments. Okay, so first of all, how long you have time? You have one hour, okay, or 60 minutes. I can take some time for labs. Okay, so it's not lab true, yeah. It can take some time for working in the instance of Linux or Windows to load, yes, true. What do you want to do finish lab? Yeah, click the red end button. And are you able to access work once you enter? Yes. Are you able to access your work once you click end button? Oh, sorry, no, you can't. Once a time, you can access. Now we are going to do one of this external grid with our external grid two, which is known as Quick Lab. Okay, so place here. Okay, so it will take some time, so but we will start it somehow. Okay, so you see, we have got an IP address, student, and password. So now we will not make further ado. Okay, so now we will search for remote desktop connection. Okay, so we got it. Copy the IP address, then paste it here, then press connect. Wait some moment, it depends on your broadband connection speed. Okay, so now paste the student name and again copy the password and then paste the password. Okay, so yes. So wait some moment for the remote desktop to make establish connection. It takes time, it depends on the speed of your broadband connection and whatsoever. And in the meantime, you can read the instruction. Okay, so what is uh, so we have access our virtual machine. Now we will try to create a folder. Okay, so open. Yes, we are already here. So now what do you need to do? Uh, there will some pop up of a server manager, but we don't need this. So we should simply put cross. Okay, so uh, you see the response time is a little bit slow because of my broadband connection. But yours can be first, so you can do first. Okay, so now new folder okay so name it my super cool folder okay so enter it's done okay so here you can see the name will be my super cool folder okay so now we have already done it now press here check my progress okay so our progress is done congratulations we can end the lab okay then good yeah you should always submit good okay submitted and now you should also cross your remote connection Extra connection. Okay, so now back to your and you will get 100% marks 
and then press next we will have to do the same thing with all the next okay so again press and open to okay so in case of open you need to put a start so you see uh, there's what you need to do there you will find two files PEM and PPK so you need to download the PPK file always before starting the lab okay so our PPK file is already downloaded so now what you need to do you need to install another application which is known as PuTTY okay so PuTTY computable application so what we can do I have already downloaded it so that's why I don't need to search for it uh, download it so what we I should do just open it from my search bar. okay so when I press it open so it's already open right so now what we should do first of all copy your student ID name and then paste it there and then press at the rate again copy your IP address post okay so now went to SSH and in SSH you will find author and then browse the PPK file that we downloaded a few moments ago and then press open so yes obviously press yes button so our Linux uh, instance is open so now we need to go for the comment that we need so just copy that comment MKD and then paste it enter so our that's it done so check your progress so that's also done so that's a lot more easier right and fast or fast as also so again and you left and then give the review right submit so when you went to the lab you will see there's a green tick mark so that's all so i think you're done with week three so thank you for playing and hope you will stay with us for latest updates and thank you don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and thank you